me. This conference will now okay. be recorded. So let's call the special meeting to order Shakespeare Property Subcommittee Monday, October 26th by a go to meeting plus other members are attending by phone, which I'm, I'm glad to hear. Um, let's see. Can I have a motion either to approve or amend the minutes from our last meeting, which was October 6th? No so move. Move to Second. approve. Seconded. Move to approve. Okay, who'd like to second it? Uh, I seconded. Thank you, Peter. All in favor of approving the minutes of October 6th, say aye. 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 Okay. So now we're going to move into uh, a, the number three on the agenda, which is to review in order to finalize our research uh, that is to be presented to the Stratford Redevelopment Agency at a later date. So I hope everyone, uh, at least on the go to meeting portion, uh, has a copy. It was emailed yesterday. Uh, version eight. We everyone. I think uh, I think everyone has it. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. So before we uh, before I ask for any comments, questions, or problems with it, let me let me make some overview remarks about it. Okay. So everyone knows uh, what we're looking at in general. We're looking at 33 pages of new information. Plus we have 22 pages from the 2019 task force amended to our report. Um, the information and photos covers 15 facilities and sites that represent types of facilities that could be developed at 1880 Elm Street, also known as Shakespeare property. The 15 facilities and sites have been divided into five categories. So there's an average of three per category. And I was advised that two or three per category would be good. So that's good. The information in this report includes descriptions, construction costs, business models, revenues by source, and town obligation, uh, plus there's information on theater seating, the host town's population, median income, and cities nearby. The report is not perfect. Some bits of information were not available for every property, but it is generally comparable, largely complete, and I believe it will be useful. The preface of the report, as you may have gathered from the last meeting or so, is, is the one area of the report where the subcommittee makes a recommendation. This is the only area where we make a recommendation and it's separated. And the, the recommendations are near-term improvements to the park that could be made without hindering any future development. So that is the preface, it's in the report, and that's the one section of the report where we make a recommendation. Um, I, I wanna make one comment on a noteworthy element of the report in, in review. And that is that uh, it, it stood out to me as I looked at the whole report that two thirds of the facilities we reviewed or looked at have a nonprofit organization involved. And that includes the, the two of the parks that we looked at, two of the three parks that we looked at and that are in the report have a nonprofit organization involved. Thought that was noteworthy. There were two questions that were unanswered until this morning. So those answers are not in the report. Uh, those answers relate to the Willits in Colorado, which is, we now know it's owned by both the, uh, both the land and the buildings are owned by a nonprofit. And we learned today that the town of West Haven owns and operates the convention center at Bradley Point Park. 
Um, so I believe the information in this report is presented in an objective manner with no favoritism toward any type of project over another. That was our goal. I believe it will help the RDA, the mayor's office, and the town council decide in what direction they might want to go. That was our mission. So those uh, that's the overview. And are there any comments, questions, problems with the content of the report? Comments. All right. Thanks everybody for being here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think no, it's I, thought, I thought it looked good. I thought it looked comprehensive, Greg. I um I felt Peter, that you, you, uh, it's Peter talking. Um I thought you did a good job of distilling the information that we all gathered from the different facilities and presented it in a way that is uh you know, very easily uh, approachable uh, and comparable from uh, one venue to the next and from one type of, you know, one type of venue to the other types of venues. I, I actually, I, I, I think it should be a very helpful piece uh, for the town to use in figuring out what kinds of priorities um, people would like to look at for future use of the property. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Peter. And um, of course, I mean, at, at some I, point during during this meeting, I will thank everyone for their work, of course, uh, including uh, Mary's Economic Development Department, Karen and Karen and Susmita, et cetera. But uh, any more comments or questions or problems? Just one other note, I was glad to see that you incorporated the report from the prior committee that showed the um, the overall numbers and preferences uh, coming out of the the both the meetings and the um, you know the the online surveys. reactions that, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly the surveys that that people responded to. I think that's important to remind folks of. Okay, good. Well, that was Tom Evans' idea. I wasn't sure I wanted I was going to pose that as a question, uh, but now we know Peter Woods likes the idea. And Tom Dillon, you like the idea of having that included? Yeah, I think it's handy. Um, you know, I think that you know that full report has a little bit more detail but that is the you know that is the the roll-up so it's good to have it handy but you know i would assume everybody's going to have the full report uh as well you know so i just want to make sure that you know that's available to everybody okay and Greg, there's also some information like you mentioned anecdotally you know the nonprofit piece i believe in the task force findings a nonprofit was recommended. So I think we'll find some other synergies between the two decks, which is helpful. Okay, um, I do have one quick question though, because I, I don't think we've ever really locked this in. Is there an intent for us when we finalize this to present it via this kind of format to the RDA or are we just passing this document over? I'll refer that question to Mary or I see Mayor Hoydick is with us. Welcome, Mayor. Um, Mary, what do you what do you think, or whomever? Will Sorry, we I had a see this. I, I um, I'm the mayor can speak on this, um, but I I believe that we will be just taking the document and we will be presenting it, and of course all the members of the task force will be invited to um, listen in on the meeting. Okay, so it sounds like you're you're going to present it and we can attend. Yeah, it's a public meeting. Anyone can attend, but of course we would especially invite the subcommittee on the meeting that we are going to uh, that it will be presented to the RDA. Okay. And hey, you're you're muted. Sorry, Tom. The mayor was speaking, but she was muted. Oh, hi. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Hi, can you hear me now? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. So um, I think I think Greg, as the committee chair, you should present. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And have okay. everybody there with you. <laughs> yeah, mean, you've done good. all the hard work. That, that I mean, you've all done all this hard work, so I think you it was a, it was a, it was a good. It really was a great team effort, and uh, including yeah. Rich Hallberg, by the way, who I made a special uh, reach out so he could attend this meeting. But I'm sorry, he's not here. Um, so there's no there's nothing on the agenda that calls for a formal vote of approving this document. What we want to do next, uh, Tom, Peter, and Tom, is what I'd like to do is get a consensus right here and now that you all or we all are in favor of approving this as it is, maybe with a couple of minor edits that because of those two questions that we answered this morning. Um, and then, you know, consider it open and public and 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 presented to 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 mayor and the and uh, and and Mary and the RDA at this time. So I'd I'd like to get a consensus of the four of us uh, without a formal vote. So are, are there any objections to that idea? Are you guys in favor of the report as it stands? Yeah, I, I'm comfortable with the consensus. I am too. I, I feel good about the whole project. Good. I, I'm good. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I do too. And, and I do too. You know, as I said in my email that went out whenever that was last night, yesterday, um, I feel good about the way it came together. I, I we we had our we had our mission, we had our goals to be objective and not be show favoritism and have useful information. And Mary and Susmita, I you know, you guided us along the way after we reconvened uh, in September. Uh, and that was important. So you helped us come up with the little boxes that are on every page about revenues by source, you know, town obligation, construction costs where we could, and business model. So I, I like the way that came together. And so I thank you for that, for that guidance. That really helped. Um, so I am, I'm satisfied, and so we'll consider that a consensus to make this uh, report public, okay? Uh, yes, I, I'm assuming we have to remove the draft designation and, and make those last couple of edits, right, Craig? Let's, okay, so we'll, we could do that tonight, and uh, Tom, and then who should we email it to, Mary, or, uh, and, and then because it has not been made public to, to the press, um, and it, it should be now that it is, you know, we're we're saying it's no longer a draft, this is our report, and so it should be made public ASAP, okay? Just Mary, one um, quick, oh, go ahead, Peter. Uh, just wondering when the RDA is uh, anticipated to either meet or review this, and just a note to Greg, in responding to your question about the Willett Center, um, that was my understanding, is that the town is, uh, or rather the land is owned and operated by the nonprofit as well as the facility. I do have the question out to the executive director there, and I'm, I'm waiting for his confirmation. If anything changes, I'll let you know. Okay. But in, in, in case there's a final edit, I just wanted to see when you actually need that final information. Any idea when that RDA meeting might be, November or? Um, well, Greg, um, and uh, and please, Mayor, weigh in, but November is going to be um, in a few days, that meeting. So, um, because we couldn't meet tomorrow, and we wouldn't have had time to discuss it tomorrow. Um, so it might be on January calendar, depending, because dis the December meeting is the 22nd. So I'm not sure if the, if the group will be getting together or not. So if they are, we'll let you know. But we kind of want to make sure enough people can listen in. So um, I'm thinking it might be January. Completely up to you. 
Um, we're having the November meeting next week um, because this regularly scheduled meeting is the week of Thanksgiving. And again, you know, just the way it falls, it's a holiday week and we're just concerned that we may not get a, um, a quorum. Okay. Well, again, we're at your, we're at your disposal. We're at your beck and call. So you just let us know. Um, but it's good to know we'll be tomorrow <laughs> in response to Peter's uh, comment about a possible edit here or there. So you have time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, gentlemen, uh, Peter, Tom, Tom, any, any other comments, last comments, uh, because I do expect that we will adjourn this meeting and the subcommittee will have finished its work. So speak now if you'd like. <laughs> I, well, I have uh, one. Tom, I'm sorry. Oh, I was just commenting. On, I, he said, speak now. I said, or forever hold your peace, but go ahead. Yes, Tom. thank you. Thank you for picking up on that. <laughs> I have, yeah, just one, you know, little editing thing is on pay, on slide 33, uh, Globe, San Diego, California. The, the Globe is offset in the box and can't I can't read it on mine. I don't know if it's my formatting or whether you can see that too. I can't see that. I will correct that. Well, oh, right. It's too dark. No, well, it, 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 it jumped off. It jumped off the screen. Yeah. I already fixed it, Tom. It's good. Cool. Thank you. Um, I had a, a suggestion, Mary, that might be helpful is that in addition to the PowerPoint, we should also deliver you a spreadsheet that has all of the projects with all of these criteria lined up in a column. So Easier you can look to down. Read. Yeah, I thought that, I mean, it's great to have the pictures for the presentation, but I thought I can, I can absolutely import that into a spreadsheet for you as well. I think that's a great idea. Thank you. All right. So let's get clear on exactly what you're promising now, Tom Evans, especially for wow. me and me. <laughs> I, all, I was just saying that we have on every page, we have what <coughs> construction, business model, revenue, and town obligation. I just right. thought it might be helpful to have every project okay. in one spreadsheet with sure. all those categories lined up so you can look and say, okay, this one is this and that one is that. How do they compare? Great. Okay. So that's a to do. Is that a high five, Mayor Hoydick, or a question? <laughs> <laughs> the mayor is talking but not hurt not uh, being heard. You can't hear me at all? Now, now I can. Okay. Um, so I like each segment having the costs associated with it and then if you want to add them all comp, you know in complete completion at the end that's fine but i liked after each section having a um, a listing of the the costs i love the demographic piece of it i just thought that was so um important about keep keeping it if if people are looking at it from a Stratford specificity, then it's really important. If they're thinking about it globally as as just a, that particular project, then it really doesn't matter. But I, I liked how it was presented. Okay, Tom, you're on. Uh, you're any right. other comments? I guess uh, Susmita, so Mary, you're you're satisfied. Yes, um, if Greg, I just went through the whole PowerPoint uh, this morning after you had sent it, and I thought it came out very well. It's been like it shows the amount of work that went into editing it and compiling the best examples, and I think it is going to be very well received. I'm hopeful that it'll be very well received by RDA and council when it goes to the council. And thank you for all the hard work that you oh. have done as the chair and everybody else has done. I know you know you took time out of your regular jobs to get to this and put this together. This is great. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. For and I'd here. like I'd like to echo uh, Sasmita's words. And you know, um, it was difficult because COVID hit and we were delayed by you know those many months. But everybody just kind of picked up where they left off. Whatever it was, six months later, and uh, we really appreciate the work you put into this and it's 
really interesting information and um, and exciting. So again, uh, we do appreciate all the hard work that the team put into this. Good, thanks. And, um, and thank you to Mayor Hoydick for, you know, appointing us to help um, leadership. And this is part of the decision-making process. And so I, I, I was happy to help and um, guys and everybody so much help. I, I felt it was, it was really a, a well-balanced effort. So that, that, that made me happy as well. Greg, this is Peter. Uh, belatedly, I, I did have a question about the multi-purpose or combination venues, the Old Globe and the Oregon Shakespeare Theater. Yeah. We're, I don't know who worked on those two projects, but I noticed I the costs were rounded to 100 and $200 million, uh, respectively, and they were both billed in 1935. Uh, I presume somebody comped up those costs from early estimates or how did how did we arrive at those numbers so I mean, it's it's, uh, did that part of it yeah peter it's a it's a use of a, an inflation calculator on initial construction costs but there's also been multiple projects over multiple years so it is an estimated gross construction costs adjusted for inflation Okay. Do you feel like in and again, I'm not familiar with either of those uh, those venues. Understanding them the way you do, do you think those uh, you know those construction estimates are you know within the ballpark of what they would be today when yes. you look at them? Yes. Okay. If you were to build either of those facilities with you know three or four theaters plus other space classroom space, et cetera, um, you know, it'll probably run around that range. Okay, very good. I, uh, I believe that uh, sort of a, an explanation of that is covered on the page in the early part of the presentation on notes on presentation. Where yeah, the, the, the construction escalator was described in the earlier part of the report. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and in some cases, Peter, you know, for example, the Old Globe had a $75 million renovation and expansion in 2006. So oh, that's right. I think that it, was noted. It's, it's just tough to find an exact amount that really attributes the whole project because none of them are brand new, you know. Sure. Some of them have been around since, like you said, the 20s and the 30s. So. Yeah, yeah. And the Delacorte, too. I mean, some of these really yeah. have been there for quite some time. Yep. Sure. Okay, great. Thanks. Thank you. So, so I am, you know, I am concerned about, you know, making the um, making the report available to the public. So, uh, Tom, I guess I'm going to ask you to pull together that that last uh, compilation chart uh, in the well, next. I would I wouldn't necessarily recommend including the chart in this deck. Greg, just because it'll be, you won't be able to fit it really. I was just saying, as a corollary, for ease of use, we could provide the spreadsheet okay. alongside. Okay. Okay. So, so then I would want to be sure, for everyone's benefit, that all the information that you would pull together in a separate chart is in the is in the report. It would be literally the same information that's in the right. report. Okay. Just place so the report. So therefore, we don't need it to be released with this. I'm report. also happy to not do that if it's going to create any any extra no, wrinkles. No, I think it's fine. I think it would be handy and useful, and um, so it's a good idea. And you're stuck with it now. But I, but it, but that just, <laughs> um, but so long as everything that you will put in that is already in this report, then we can. Yeah, there will be no new information out. in that. I just want to make sure the public gets everything that we're that we're finalizing. Okay. So that is it. I uh, we're 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 finished as a group unless there's any objection from on high. <laughs> that would be you, Mayor Hoyt. No can hear. I know because I have to I have two devices going because the okay. uh, audio is not working on my iPad. Sorry. I just wanted right. to also express my thanks to you all. Can you hear me? 
Yes. 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 Okay. You're um, welcome. I think I think you came together as a group of people and you left as a team. And uh, I'm really proud of your work product. It's, it's uh, comprehensive, easy to understand, and it it's optimistic and it makes me happy. So thank you all Good. for all your hard work. You're That's welcome. great. Well, you know. Yeah, I kind of wished, you know, we would have had a little more camaraderie around the uh, council chambers, you know, and rubbed elbows, but so be it. We, we did that for about three meetings and that's it. So uh, now I run into you on the sidewalks. <laughs> all right, so all is well, then um, who would like to make a motion that we adjourn? So moved. And do I hear a second? Oh, you, Tom. Second. <laughs> Seconded by Dylan. All in favor of adjourning, say aye. 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 And I'll let you know, all of you know, as soon as we know the RDA schedule for the rest of the year, okay? I'll, I'll, okay. I'll make sure I reach out to everybody. And, and right just there, to finalize, Greg, I'll make these last edits and deliver to you, and then you will deliver on, correct? <clears throat> Excellent. Very good, Tom. Thanks. Sounds good. Thanks, all. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Aileen, Karen, and Karen. Everybody.